preposition is a word that shows the relation like place, time between a noun or a pronoun and the other words in a sentence. Today we are going to learn some more prepositions. She was born in 2005. Now which is the preposition in the sentence? It is in. Now in has a very specific job in the sentence. It is telling us when was she born? In 2005. So, in is used to tell us about the time. So, when we use in in this sentence, we are talking about years. So, whenever we say in which year something happens, we use the preposition in. Now, let's check the other uses of preposition in. We wear cotton clothes in summer. So again, which is the preposition here? It is in. It is showing the relation over here between summer and the clothes that we wear. Now, we can see over here that it is no more talking about the year. When we say in summer, we are not talking about the year. What are we talking about? We are talking about the season. In summer. When? In summer. So, in is also used to tell us about season. Whenever we talk about season, then we can use in. In spring, in autumn, in winter. My birthday is in June. So, the preposition in the sentence is in. When is my birthday? In June. So, in can also be used when we are talking about months. When? In June. So, whenever we talk about months, we use the preposition in. In June, in September, in December, in October and so on. Sam was playing in the morning. When was he playing? In the morning. Now, in tells us about the time of the day. We are talking about the morning. So, whenever we are talking about the part of the day, we use the preposition in. In the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. My parcel will arrive in a few days. So, the preposition is in. When I say in, I am talking about time within a few days. So, this is another usage of the preposition in when it is used to show within a few days. Dinner will be served in minutes. So, in is the preposition. So, over here, in is used to show a certain span of time in a few minutes in an hour. So, we use in in such kind of a sentence. My birthday is in June. So, we have already seen that in such a sentence, when we are talking about a month, then we use the preposition in. So, birthday is in June. It is on a specific day. So, what do we use when we talk about a specific day in a month. It was Kim's birthday on Monday. So, when was Kim's birthday? On Monday. So, on is the preposition over here showing the time. When we use on, what are we saying? We are talking about a particular day, a specific day. It is on Monday. It is not on any other day, but it is on Monday. Christmas is celebrated on 25th December. Now, which is the preposition here? It is 
on. Now when we use the preposition on, what do we mean? We are seeing that we are talking about a date. It is 25th December that we are talking about. So it is one specific date. When we talk about a specific date, we use the preposition on. Now, if this date was not there, then our sentence would become Christmas is celebrated on December. Can we say that? No, we have learned that for months we use in. So, the preposition we would use then would be Christmas is celebrated in December. But because we have a date here, we cannot use in. We are specifying one day, so we are going to use on. There is a special program on Independence Day. So, on is the preposition. And when we talk about Independence Day, we are talking about special days. Diwali, Independence Day, Republic Day. These are all the special days which are celebrated on a specific day. So, when we talk about special days or days which are celebrated at a particular time, then we use the preposition on. I reached office on time. So the preposition is on over here. So when I say on time, what do I mean? I am talking about a specific time. It could be 9, it could be 10. I reached office on time. I mean that I reached it on that time. My father will drop me at 8 o'clock. So when will my father drop me? At 8 o'clock. So at is the preposition over here. And what does it tell us? It tells us about a particular time. He is not going to drop me before 8 or after 8, but sharp 8 o'clock at 8 o'clock. So when we are talking about a specific time, then we use the preposition at over here. The church bell struck at midnight. So the preposition in this sentence is at. Now when we say midnight, we are talking about a time in the day. But it is not before or it is not after, but a particular time. It is 12 midnight. So when we are specifying a specific or a particular time, we are going to use this preposition at. We have already learned that we use in when we are talking about the different parts of the day. In the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. But note that we never use the preposition in for night. We always write at night. Fill in the blanks with the appropriate prepositions. The function is dash the evening. The gates will be open dash 5 p.m. We expect the guests to arrive dash time. The options are on, in, at. What do you think will be the answer? Let's check this. The function is dash the evening. When we say evening, we are talking about a time in the day. So, for time in the day, what do we use? We use in. The function is in the evening. The gates will be open dash 5 p.m. So when we say 5 p.m., we are specifying a particular time that the gates will open. Not before that, not after that, but 5 p.m. So when we are specifying a particular time, what do we use? We use 
at. The gates will be open at 5 p.m. We expect the guests to arrive dash time. So when we talk about time, we mean the specific time the function will begin. So we will use on here. So the guests will arrive on time. So today we have learned the prepositions on, in and at. On is used for specific days, for specific time and for specific special days. When we talk about in, we are talking about months, years or it could be season. It could also be within a span of time. And when we talk about at, we are again specifying a particular time. So, there are many other prepositions which we will learn soon. Try using the prepositions in, on, at in sentences of your own and see how many different sentences you can make. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to get all learning resources as per ICSC, CBSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5000 amazing lectures across maths, science, English and social science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests, performance analysis along with actionable feedback, personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You can also win amazing prizes like PlayStation, iPad, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So at Delta Step, learning is not just fun and easy, it's rewarding too. So register for free now.